Last weekend, I uh, had my son just pick out a few games randomly, and we would try them out and look at them, and he saw this and said, go ahead and do an unboxing, and then next time maybe we can check it out. So I'm going to do that now. I've had this one for a while, just have not been able to get it played. It is an older game. Let's see. The boats, the player, uh, the uh, playing boards, the docks, the player boards with the cubes and the cards. <coughs> it is a little bit of a thinky strategy game, but I don't think it's super hard. And that is pretty much the game rules right there. This is components and setup. Got a couple of pages of actual gameplay and then they go into more detail explaining what each side <coughs> of the dock areas building sites do. Pretty cool. And explanation of market cards at a glance at the back. So I like the just first glance, I like the way the instructions are set up. And those are already look at that, they're already coming out clean and easy. These are nice and thick. Nice. Very legible. Easy to read from a, a distance. I like that. These are a little small, but they're not bad. I mean, they, they're just to hold cubes, and you don't want them too big, because then the cubes would be huge, and you want to limit the players to five. So that is your quarry stockpile boats punch out nice and clean so yeah all that score tracker it's got box cover image in black and white on the back that's pretty cool didn't have to do that A couple of extra bags not bad the cards, let's take a look at those. Now you know how I feel about dark edged cards. They are going to show wear and tear very quickly. There, in fact, look, there's one right there. There's a couple. They're already starting to fray and show the white underneath coat. There's another one. And these are brand new open. So you can imagine after a couple of shuffles, if you are rough at all, they will show <clears throat> and they will mark the cards. These are boat offering cards. How to stock the docks and then these. Cool little image on the back. Like that. There you go. These are small cards, but they're pretty legible. And of course, my camera's not wanting to focus well, but in game statue bonus points, entrance. So, in game point scoring for all the different uh, regions. <clears throat> Box insert is pretty. I don't know how functional it is. Yeah, I do like that at least it's different from the others. It's not just like a little narrow cha uh, channel or one divider. That's pretty cool to represent like the different areas. And then you get these. In the four player colors, you have black, brown, gray, and white. So they're easily visible. And they feel pretty good. They're... They got a nice little chunk to them. They're not super heavy. They are wood, not plastic. I don't know. They feel good. Have some leftover other bags. And this one actually worked. But the cards were... They would slide around a little bit to the side. But then it was hard to seal it once it was full. I think this will work a little better. So that's... 
so far that's my only complaint they should have had a small bag for these um, not something this large and again I just used a leftover smaller bag to put these in so that they're somewhat secure and not a little small a little more compact and I guess everything just fits in kind of loose I guess I could hide those to keep them from banging around. I don't know. So a few bags that didn't use. The insert is just kind of whatever. I mean, they made it pretty on the inside and they made it a strange design, but everything just is loose. It's what it is. And then the book is going to fall down in the middle when it rests there. There's nothing to support it. So, that's strange. I did hide the cards here. I don't know, maybe do something different. Little disappointed with the insert. Everything else seemed fine. But, that is a look at Imhotep, Builder of Egypt. What you get for what you pay.